I'm going to be showing you how we created our very own streaming service without writing any code. In this video, you're going to learn three things. Number one, the software I used. Number two, the key features of that software. And number three, the pricing breakdown. And at the end, I'm going to show you the number one thing that you need to launch your own streaming service within 30 days. Number one, what's the software I use to create my streaming service? We use Odium. One of the things that's really nice about this platform is you can actually start for free. Let's look at the key features of this platform. First of all, they allow you to go live to your audience. Now, what makes this special? Well, if you're thinking about going live on YouTube or other platforms, that's still a social network. You're still on their platform. You can go live to your own audience behind a paywall. They can now experience whatever you want with Odium Live. Instead of going to each individual platform and making sure that everything's integrated and updated like on Roku and all those things, I have the publishing platform very easily so I can make sure that I manage my subscriptions, my offers, all of those things, and I can check how much I'm making all from one place. Now we're going to go into some details that allows my experience to take it to the next level so I can market my content appropriately. I can analyze my on-demand uh, statistics. I can make sure that I have my in-app purchases. I can do coupon codes, promotions. I can set my own pricing, free trials. And when I'm working on my communication with my audience, I can have push notifications. So if they're not opening my emails, I can make sure that I can let them know if they've downloaded my app when I have a new video that's posted. And I can have marketing and automation as well. These are just a few things with Odium. Let's go to the plans and pricing, what everyone asks about. What does it look like? Now, remember, you can launch for free, but there's a few stipulations with this. If you're going to be launching for free, you have unlimited bandwidth, but there's $4 per hour of stored video. So you're going to have to really focus on how much content you're going to be loading up on there. Also mentioning your first hour of stored video is free. What I really would focus on, if you're going to be using Odium to think about don't try to add an entire library to your platform to get started. Test with your audience if people care about the content, what they care about before you start getting all of these fees and not understanding what you should pivot towards with your audience. You need to first have one or two pieces of content and test if your audience wants that. Then when they're investing in your subscription service, then you can invest in the infrastructure, which would allow you to have more hours of storage of video and you go on from there. The other thing I would like to mention is it's a 10% revenue share. For example, if you're going to be selling, now you can set your own prices for whatever you're charging per month, but remember they're getting 10% of the revenue. Going down a little bit further, remember the tiered subscriber fees depends on how many subscribers are gonna be taking a certain amount per subscriber based on how many subscribers. Let's go for an example. For your first 100 subscribers, they're going to be taking $2.50 per subscriber. Remember, this is free, you can start for free, so they're going to be making a cut off of every transaction. It makes sense, so now it's more of this freemium model. You can go get your proof of concept, all of those things, but remember, if you're charging a certain amount, you're gonna to have to just think about it. For example, if you're charging $5, they're gonna be taking $2.50 for the first 100. So they would be taking 50% of that. Make sense? Right in the comment section down below if you have any questions about that. Also, you have to look at transaction fees because you're going to be having your Stripe account and all of those things uh, linked up. It, your transaction fees are going to be 2.9% plus 30 cents plus 1% for international cards. All of these things you have to think about as you're creating your streaming service. And again, when you're getting started with this, this is the price of business. You have to invest in your infrastructure to make sure that it's a good experience for your audience. If we look at the pro plan, this allows you to not have the revenue share fee. And now instead of a tier system of how much they're going to be making off of each subscriber, it's a flat fee of a dollar per subscriber. This is similar if you're using something like Uscreen or others. There's some kind of fee associated with each subscriber. And that makes sense because when they're going to be on your platform, they're going to be using a certain amount of data. So they're covering the costs. Now that we've looked at the software, the key features, and the pricing, we're going to take a look at what the app actually looks like. I'm going to go to the Build With Me app. Now, this is the app that we built. We were able to customize the color, 
the layout, all of those things. And if we look at the front, we can see no code business ideas, some of our top videos, and they're right here. Now, if we look at it, there's a lock button right there. We're gonna click one of the videos. We'll say um, business ideas, the crown. We're gonna click that. Okay, we have that, that looks cool. Now, when I click to play it, it's gonna say, hey, sign in. I can either sign in if I've already subscribed to Build With Me, or it says not a, not a member. It says with a subscription to Build With Me, you will have access to the entire library. So I can say subscribe today. If I say subscribe today, now it's going to give me a $4.99 um, a month plan, and I have a one-week free trial. Again, we, we actually set all this stuff up in the back end of Odium. So right here, it allows you to have your own streaming service. It already has everything set up, the marketing, all of those things. And what's really nice about the one-week free trial, now you have ones that can experience, see videos, decide if they want to um, to have this subscription, but it allows you to get a lot more people in the door and you're getting over the first hurdle before they make a decision one way or another. It's just say like, ah, I'm not sure if I'm ready to spend the money. You automatically get them in the door and then one week later, again, that subscription uh, kicks in. So that's really good. If we go back to the home menu right here, we have the home um, section and it gives us the featured content. If we click playlists, it breaks down the different playlists we have. We have build your streaming service as one, exclusive workshops, and then no code business ideas. If I click build your streaming service, I click that and now it's three of our videos. Build your own Roku channel. It's our live session of how we created it with special.co. Create your own Netflix step by steps and then the, the tech you need to, to make Netflix. Again, this is up to you, but you can have all the different types of playlists that are meant for your kind of brand. It's already here for you. And you can access all this from the, the, the Apple Store. So if we go to the App Store, if we go to the App Store, we go to the App Store and click search. I'm going to just search build with me. Our app is right here. And so now we have a preview of what the app looks like. And with Odium, they've already sent all of the details to the we, they've already submitted everything to the app store for us. So we we have to create, so we had to create a developer account. But once we linked it up to our Odium account, they submitted everything for us. And now, as you can see, our app is right here on the app store. Without writing one line of code, we created our own app using Odium. It's a great experience. We have the built-in marketing that we need to really scale our brand and we were off to the races. Now, what's the one thing you need to know to launch your streaming service within 30 days? You need to start testing your idea and if people want your streaming service. It's not the tech, it's not having the videos and all those things. You need to first find out, does your audience want your content? Do you have the content that they want? Create a landing page, test it out, start asking your audience to make sure that you're building the right thing for your audience. Using Odium, you can be doing this within a few hours to, to plug in the right information, have the right kind of branding, the colors, and all those things. You can get that done, and we've shown you throughout our videos how you can be able to do this. What you need to focus on is your audience, and if you're going to have people signing up. It doesn't matter if you just have an app. That's a great start, but you need to first test out to see where you can be effective in the market. What makes your streaming service so popular? And keep in mind, you're not going to be able to just bootleg or take popular movies and put it on your streaming service. You're going to still need to approach different entities, the studios. If it's an independent director, you're going to have to still secure the rights. So just because you have this platform and you can put it on, on the App Store doesn't mean you're going to be able to secure rights for your popular anime show, your favorite movie, and all those things. That's a whole other discussion. If you're going to be effective and have something for your audience, you've got to figure it out what you need to do first. In the comment section down below, let me know what you think of the app. If you want to try it out, there's going to be a link down below. Let me know if you're interested to doing for doing this yourself. If you need help, write in the section down below that you need help or email me 
if you're serious. We take clients that are in the phase of being a startup. So you're already being funded uh, with a venture capital, or if you're bootstrapping, you already have the capital to make the investment. We work with ones like that. Remember, to get started, you don't need us. You can start with for, for free using Odium and other platforms. So think about that first. But if you're looking to scale and have a strategy, feel free to contact us. I'll see you in the next video.